Hi there, I'm Christopher, the founder of Care Chooser. This is the fourth guide series where we look briefly at different conditions. The, uh, other, the other episodes of the guide are available if you scroll down on the page and they're also available on our website in written form and in video form. So the first episode was multiple sclerosis, the second one was on dementia, the third one was on diabetes, and this, the fourth one, is on Alzheimer's disease. So what is Alzheimer's disease? Alzheimer's disease is a type of dementia. It's the most common um, for in the UK. Alzheimer's disease is a physical disease which affects the brain, so a neurological disease. When a person has Alzheimer's genes uh, build up in the brain and these form plaque. These plaques can cause a loss in the connection between the nerve cells and the brain. This can then cause the nerve cells to die as well, so it causes physical damage. It's a physical disease. There are factors that increase the risk of a person getting Alzheimer's. The exact cause of the disease is unknown. These factors include severe head injuries, family history of Alzheimer's, and lifestyle. So let's have a look at the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's recent events, more, more recent memories, um, and forgetting things like names and places. Alzheimer's disease is progressive, which means and it will become worse over time and um, so the symptoms can become more severe such as confusion, difficulty, movement, self-care can become difficulty, often difficulties with mood, speech, language and there can also be personality changes and so also difficulty in judging distances. These difficulties will become increasingly over time because is progressive and so people living with Alzheimer's may need support from their families. Some people with Alzheimer's may have sleeplessness, aggression, hallucinations and seeing and hearing things that are not there and delusions, believing things that aren't true. Alzheimer's needs difficulties with walking, eating and people being aware of their surroundings and so they will need their daily lives care for a person living with Alzheimer's. Well, at the moment there is no, currently no cure for Alzheimer's, although it is It's in the news yesterday, the 31st of January 2018, that scientists have developed a blood test that can detect the buildup of toxic, of to of the toxic proteins that are linked to Alzheimer's disease. I'll post a link to that below, it was in the BBC News yesterday. The drugs that can provide some help Difficulties and also they also help make regular activities such as cooking and shopping easier to manage, and they can also help with concentration and motivation. There are other drugs that can help a person living with a more severe form of Alzheimer's disease as it becomes more progressive. And again, these can help with memory, concentration, daily activities, delusions, and also challenging behaviors. I spoke about the product and the support and the activities uh, which can support a person living with dementia in the previous in one of the previous episodes of guide on dementia and actually those all those types of support are also relevant for a person living with Alzheimer's disease as well so so as I said there are lots of different activities that can help a person with Alzheimer's there are lots of products that exist which can, which can help a person's day life such as anti school mugs uh, user user utensils, pill boxes, uh, user-friendly phones, and also clocks where the time is actually in written word. There are lots of new technologies that incorporate the Internet of Things, which can monitor the use and also the non-use of uh, all of the electrical appliances through the house and door. see whether a door hasn't been opened for a certain amount of time, and that can, you know, which can, can, can then be monitored more closely or followed up by the court. There are also many forms of cognitive therapies that exist which can help with Alzheimer's disease. Living independently. 
There are also lots of local services and activities that provide singing and meetups, which provide enjoyment, stimulation, and social and social interaction. So th these are hugely valuable for a person living with Alzheimer's disease, also. So that was the brief care guide to Alzheimer's, looking at um, you know, what Alzheimer's is, um, the symptoms, and the care for the disease. So as I say, there's a written version of, of this guide on our website, carechooser.com. If you just go to it says home care guide, and then you can see all the, the different series. So, um, yeah, so we, have, we, we do have lots of carers available to help um, with a person living with Alzheimer's disease. Our carers have proven very popular in 2018. Um, we've had Potter's Bar in Crouch End, had two new clients in um, Enfield and in Shepherd's Bush recently. So they're proving very popular and we're becoming, available, becoming unavailable very fast. So do get in touch if we can help you find a carer. And I shall be back soon.